And here we go. This is Flash Somebody at the Dork Table on this Saturday, the 23rd of February, 2019. And guess who I'm going to call right now for your Dork Table experience? Let's see if my mystery guest answers while I'm doing the hellos. Anyway, we're here on this Saturday trying to ring up my friend. Let's see what happened here. Oh, she might still be busy. So I'm going to do the normal intro stuff. And uh, we'll surprise you if you haven't heard already. And we'll say hello. Well, let me do the normal things. Uh, thank Graham for the hard work for putting uh, all our crap out here that we do in this radio stuff. And wait, I'm ringing dinging my partner here in Cram today on the Dork Table Podcast. Let's see if this works. Oh. Hold on. A can second. you hear me? I can now. Sweet. I told you. See, I'm getting uh, pretty good at this, actually, because of all the bloopers and mistakes. We're we're predestined to do it right. Ah. Yeah, you do it wrong enough times, and sooner or later. Anyway, you want to say hi to the crowd at the Real Liberty Media here at the Dork Table, Miss Mary. Hi to the crowd at the Real Liberty Media. Are we live? Yeah, yes, we are live. We are very Sweet. live. You have a pulse and everything. <laughs> you want a second opinion? Oh, I, got a, I got a bubble on my lap. Uh, um, <clears throat> let's see. Am I supposed to do like I do? How like I do? Well, come it's on. It's been a while. Do? It's Barman, the most splendiferous bot in the whole wide world, closely followed by Grimner because Grimner keeps saying, Barman, I asked for coffee like, what, 15 minutes ago. Where the hell is it? That's why he's always following Barman around. Uh, uh. Ah, we also got Moose Coil is logged in. I don't see her active, but she is logged in as well as DC, but he's in backwards brackets because he's kind of backwards, <laughs> but that's okay. He has puppies. Um, Anti is also here. And looky there, Asmo and Chalcedoni. And hey, you're here. Yes, I am. Sweet. Sort of. And I'm right behind you. That's really scary. That's really scary. <laughs> Cirque. Help. Don't change your name to Ben. It's over. <laughs> um, <laughs> I also see IB Don C as well as Jay Dredd and the lovely Kate and Rain. And it's not rain. Well, it's raining out here, but it's more solid. It's, and it's white. Um, and it's wow. blowing like crazy, too. That sounds um, terrible. In I know. RLM Fluky fun. is here, too. You can do your weird-ass stuff with Fluke. I I do not do weird ass stuff with the fluke. Never say that again. Did you did you see the picture that uh Grimmy? Yeah, that's fluke. She's a va va boom in the bot world. I refuse to share the picture with you, scum. Stop it. Stop it now. See how you are. I also see Rob Wikes is logged in, but I think Rob had to step away for a little bit. I don't see him acting. Yeah, he, he right said now. he was gonna take a nap. Ah, see how he is. That's very undorkular of him. Um, I know, Grammy in the morning. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I also see Rome's is here as well as Phantom and Beetle. Hi, Beetle. Beetle, Beetle, Beetle. Cyborg Noodle is also here and DK, the dork cakes. The dork, the dork, the dork, the dork, the dork, the dork. It's cakes. Hey, mental. <laughs> we got a double dose mental. of frumpy too. Did you see that? Yeah, but Cirque said hi, mental in the background. Oh, and Cycles is there. Hi, Cycles. No, she's over um, on the couch knitting while I do this with you. Knitting? Yeah, I know or, how that uh, knitting goes. Cr whatever ring. Something with string. Crown. Oh, she's probably crotcheting. Yeah, that. Instead yeah, of knitting. Well, whatever. Yeah. It all looks the same to me. Ah, guest 78469 is also here. And Java Doctor, who is a bionic Java now. Because he, he got, got a new oh, knee. I thought he was getting both of them. Oh. Uh, he just got one okay. this time. Uh, I, Kate I says, I am much louder than you, Flash. Oh, I might not be um, yakking in right to, into my mic. I'm due for a new mic, but I like this one. How's that? Is that Well, it? and it could very well be my settings. Oh, hell uh, with all that. I don't have the settings all that particular. There's 
on and off and I have the same oh. shit no matter who I do the show with. The voices oh. are never balanced. It's just a way of, the, you know, this version of what we're using. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, that's part of being a dork is that you're unbalanced. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Oh, uh -oh. Grimmy Tweet says tweak your knobs, knobs. here. <laughs> Adjusting the volume. But Cirque is way okay. over there on the couch. Can't re the headphones don't reach. Now what do I do? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you're just so well. That's different what you do. kind of um. knobs. <laughs> <laughs> Started with a K. Nipples, knobs. It's all the same to me. Yeah, it all. Well, okay. Started yeah, with a K. Nipples. Nipples starts and with a K. knobs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going German today. In honor of my good friend. Anyway, do I zip okay, I also tasty? see Kozu is here as well as Kiss, and it's not not yeah, it's not that band with the weird makeup and shit. Aww. Damn it! Um, I also see Moy is here as well as Minson Dubois, oh, and we got a ponder gander. He's gandering yeah. at someone's ponder, and I think that sounds disgusting. He's lurking. Um. Yeah, he's kind of weird. Uh, Pom -pom, Pom Sauce is also here, as well as Sock Puppet. And oh. Special Special has a very short bus. Oh. <laughs> and no, not feeling very saucy today, apparently. Or maybe feeling extra saucy. I don't know. I don't pay uh, attention. Yes, do. um, and then we got Tech Man and Uno, that wonderful card game Uno. that... Um, yeah, I usually lose that. <laughs> Whoa. And not to forget that when Grimner posts us all over the freaking earth with this all this new technology. I know. We're on we're coming out on Twitter and actually should I do we're on RLMradio.xyz and we're on reallibertymedia.com. I think it's channel three, isn't it? Um no, let me no, see. No, channel eight. Channel eight. Sweet. Yeah, like, it's on it's curvy like a three, only it's two threes facing each other. Ooh. Yeah, after you and ran off, are... after you ran off screaming, I, he gave me my own channel, Grimner. Sweet. Mm. Well, you know, two threes put together. But I told you, know, you they I make was, an eight. <laughs> I was going to kidnap you That's and almost, bring you back. Hmm? I told you I was going to oh. kidnap you and bring you back. Mm. And here you are on the see dark table. Are. Are we on Spreaker, too? Are we on oh, Spreaker, yeah. too? Wherever the normal... We even got a spot on iHeartRadio, I believe. Awesome. I got an, uh, an acceptance for one of the shows I'm, I do with Vinny. And I don't mm. know where we stand with this crazy shit, the dork table, but we'll see. Oh, I am still a techno tardless kind of guy. I have, I have to have my wife turn the machine on and off for me in the morning. And it, uh -uh. yeah, I'm, I'm slowing down in my old age. Dang! But it the happens. diapers are kind of nice. <laughs> 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 Saves all that cleaning up the furniture. <laughs> 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 She's thinking of getting me like this really stylish wheelbarrow, so I can just go all out. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> See, she needs to design you a, a, a wheelchair with a bucket yeah. underneath. Get me, me a, a bucket warmer so I can, you know, yeah. entice the cats along the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking. need to figure out some kind of auto dump though, because man. <sighs> speaking of cats, the the doctor got ill, and the uh -oh. other morning, yeah, it was weird. Sir had planned to take the day off, and then. The cat in that morning was obviously beyond normal crap he usually gets into. And I said, well, then go put him down. But I didn't go with her. If I would have went with her, I would have said, put the guy down. He's had a good life, right? But mm -hmm. Cirque is weak and loving. And they talked her into saving the cat. So he's still here. But now the poor guy's so beat up from the operation to save him and all the crap that made him ill. He has to be force-fed pills, so I got liver to put the pills in to trick the cat into getting better. 
But the bad side is he's a cat. Now he won't eat anything but the liver. <laughs> ah. Uh, you know, you, you outthink them in one area, and they go, yeah, on another. Yeah. Mm, well, yeah, because, you know, catitude and all that fun stuff. <laughs> Do I have a license to drive that wheelbarrow? Wow. I think the smell would just keep any human form away from it, so it won't be necessary. <laughs> You know, if you ever get pulled over by the cops and you want to get out of it really quick, shit your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Take them off while you're shitting. They'll they'll leave. <laughs> they'll Actually, that's leave. what they tell you to do. You know, way or at least what they used to tell you to do way back in the day when I was a teenager, early twenties, and someone was wishing to sexually assault oh, you. God. They they told you to either pee your pants or shit yourself and the sad thing is there's freaks out there that find that exciting around and <laughs> I know like, that's what they do it for so they can get the smell going and get them excited <laughs> you're fueling mm. the fire if you listen to the police don't do it okay i'm done <laughs> no I'm <Yeah>. not. <laughs> we just got started anyway today's show is called agree with me or else and, uh, oh, yeah, or else. That's right. You know why I say that? Why? Well, I've been kind of perusing this thing going on the internet for the last couple of months, I would say, where I paid attention mm -hmm. to it. And it came to a full tilt boil about four weeks ago. And people have been voicing their opinion strongly and using their given authority to mm -hmm. deal with problems as they see fit. And mm -hmm. amongst the crew that, you know, uh, regulars, the RLM chat, we have one holdout that's fighting for the side of good and niceness against the forces of evil and totalitarianism. There you have it. And <sighs> exactly. Yeah. And see that's when it. I when I see this, yeah. there's lots of times where I go, "Wow, talk about a soft bully cell." Yeah, well, it's hard to explain. I mean, I can understand both sides of it equally. To be honest. Well, with you. I un I understand both sides of it, but I also understand that it ultimately comes down to we are all responsible for our own words and deeds. And when we try and foist that off on someone else, we just abdicated well, responsibility if, for ourselves. If I don't agree with you, are you going to put me in a corner or a timeout? <laughs> no. No. If I don't agree with someone or I don't like what they have to say, a lot of times I will drop my little two cents worth that usually smells about as wonderful as their two cents worth. And then I walk away because to me, it's just plain not worth it. Cause some, you know, people are going to think what they're going to think. Right. And no matter what I say, I am not going to change their opine. Uh, Beetle so, just popped in too. He was like, hi Beetle. Beetle. <laughs> you always yell like I'm going to, they're going to hear you better in my headphones. Yes, they are. Um, happy birthday, Beetle. Da, 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 da. And I saw my shadow today. I was so you did? Yeah, I was so impressed with it that it w I was unaware until I got home that I had seen it. You know, I was... <laughs> okay, I, I do this grocery thing during the weather no matter what it is i don't snowing raining sunny hot cold don't matter i go get my fucking milk i want uh -huh. fresh milk anyway and today the I, the time of day i would not usually go i went and the sun mm -hmm. was shining behind me and i saw my shadow and i was planning to take pictures hey look at how cool this really is i got my shadow and if i would have brought my camera i would have took some pictures and impressed myself with it but i forgot <laughs> 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 but i had the thought well i'm old i i have my moments <laughs> anyway um, 
But it's been such a long winter for me here this year that I forgot all about seeing my shadow. So it's like being a child. Ooh, you know, <laughs> in my oh, mind, I'm taking so pictures of... What that, I always wondered what they meant by, you know, the whole, um, the groundhog sees its shadow. And <laughs> now I know if after a long winter of not getting to see your shadow at all, then when you finally see your shadow, it's like, <gasps> it must mean spring is coming. Well, somebody needs to tell Mother Nature that because i got a blizzard going on out here. <laughs> oh, I'm, I don't mean to laugh, but yeah, the extreme got the Northern America this time. And you know all uh -huh. this climate change crap, it's, it's just helped along by the government. These idiots are, they're playing with us like in a laboratory experiment. Oh, yeah. Well, a lot of folks are, are so um, distracted by Venezuela and oil and politics, North Korea, Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan, England, France, Germany. And they do that. So while they're sticking the 5G up your ass, you'll go, oh, a little to the left. Oh, that feels so good. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, and I just saw an article that, uh, a little bit ago. They're now looking at 6G. It's like, really? Seriously? So that's going to get the rest of us at the 5G don't take out? Probably. Lord. Yeah, it sure sounds like it. Like, it's, <laughs> you know, it's just, uh, it's just a matter of your indoctrination to see what government truly does to its own people. I mean, if they'll do it to foreigners, why not to the normal? What do they care? The what illusion. makes you think they do it to foreigners first? I'll bet you they well, practice all that crap on, on the locals first and see if, if there's no uproar, then I guess we can do it to everybody else. When Clinton was in power all those years back, you know, like 20 plus years ago, he uh -huh. did a video apologizing for experimenting on Americans without their, without their consent or knowledge radiation, medical experiments, such. And nobody cares. I've posted it and posted. Nobody gives a flying shit about that. So what do they care about if they're doing it now? You know, they're not interested. They don't have whatever wiring is necessary to get beyond me, my dick, and my car. They're missing it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, this is a multi-pronged assault that started decades ago. And people are just getting wise to it, some. And most are going, huh? what are you talking about? Yeah. yeah. I heard you on your show last night. You sounded so uh, different is the correct term from this side of the pond, if you will. You're uh, you're more made. Your your mind is getting more made up as you go, and you don't get weaker. You get stronger. Like since the mm. cold thing, you've come back with a vengeance. <laughs> oh, wow! Because you know, I well. I would hate to be on the losing side of an argument in the same room that you're in. It would be a uh, an emotionally devastating experience I think because you've changed you went from nice little miss push around to get the fuck out of my way before I tell you the truth mm, and it only took well, you six years to get here maybe it's because I'm getting older you know <laughs> and you know how some people when they get older they get nicer because they're trying to get into heaven <laughs> well I, I don't worry about that <laughs> trying to get into heaven I, and I figure Okay, I'm getting older, so that means the finish line is getting closer. And so I'm to the point where it's like, I really don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, I started out there, and now because of Cirque, I'm kind of tamed a little bit. You know, enough to uh, enough to see both sides of an argument and pick neither side over the other is my goal. To just be right in the center and go... You're both right, so you can both fuck off now. Go away. I've spoken. <laughs> there you go. Because and oh, the reason Beetle. I say that, Mary, is because... Beetle just sent me some vitamin C. Thank you, Beetle. Um, and you know what? I just took one of my uh, doTERRA on guard 
cough drops. I was pontificating how in the reality of life, Miss Mary, my opinion, I know you were, and I interrupted you. Yeah, it's, I feel so special. <laughs> my opinion doesn't change anything, does it? It wouldn't. No. It, it's my opinion, so are you really going to think differently because I said so? Come no. on. No. You know why? No. Because that would mean that I am allowing you to decide my worth or my value or my opinions. I'm, I should be in control of those things. No, I like the first part. That sounded good to me. I'll, I'll control it. <laughs> Makes my <laughs> well, you know, bone feel to, wonderful. <laughs> hey, I'm still part Jew. I still like to control the world around you. I know you are a Jewy bastard. That's why I don't believe that 20% off. I actually think you marked it up 30% before you took 20% off. 46. Oh, see, there I was giving you the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Go pay retail. <laughs> and you went it's all, all Jewy bastard uh, on me. That's all right. But you know what? I, I did that to get over my jitters of the radio, and it worked. And I followed kind of like me and Grim did that solo thing about the same time. Because I, I was just having the hardest time. I felt like, well, if nobody comes along, ah, now I I go, hey, come by and say hi. And if you don't make it, I do the show alone. <laughs> oh. But it, for a long time, I didn't like to do shows alone. And I haven't done it with you for so long that we, we deserve to do this to the public. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> we, we suffer enough in silence, don't we? <laughs> Uh, it's fun to be able to mess with people's minds. Well, they need to know the truth. That's that's yes. the true problem in the whole game, right? The problem is from person to person, the truth is a different story. There you go. Uh huh. Because what makes me happy displeases other people, and yep. vice versa, versa, vice versa. So, you know, like the thing with Vinny lately, um, I see his side. I understand what he's talking about. It makes good sense. But there's only 34 people here, Vinny. It's not important. And the overall thing, he sees where it matters. But when it comes down to you tell people, you know, you even ask them nice a couple times. Hey, can you can you do this? Because Grim did this to me once. You know, hey, you went too far. Okay. And I still do a little bit, but not not as half as bad as I did at the time when I was asked to cool it a little bit. You know, you with well, me? Well, I mean, that's the way I see above, what I do. So below kind of thing, though. Ha, wait, you know, so, RLM is the microcosm, and the world is the macrocosm. Yeah. And if you can't learn to play nice in the micro then that pretty much is a reflection of how you are interacting in the macro. I understand that principle, all right? But there's people that brag about throwing shit in public and to see what people will do, how they'll react, bragging about it like it's a good thing. And I wouldn't I wouldn't do that here. In fact, today, check this shit out. I went to the groceries. This is my trip to the store. I'm seeing my shadow like a 10-year-old kid for the first time. And I get uh -huh. to the grocery, and at the end, I want to get a pastry for Cirque and me. And, and me and my bartenders are walking to the pastry line at the same exact time. And it's cold, and I haven't been out much. And, oh, you're snowbird. Oh, you don't come to the pub anymore, the bar. And uh, mm -hmm. they said, well, come on down. We're going to have a little something on Monday. Why don't you show up for a beer? So I think I'm going to do that. But instead of, oh, my God, there's that damn American, how I hope he doesn't recognize us. We're speaking mm -hmm. English in a in in a full line of people like they're not there. So, you know, I, my acceptance level, not being um, a native or an immigrant or whatever the fuck it is about, nobody gives a shit about that here. It's about do no harm, behave yourself in public. Don't, you know, don't call the girl a stupid bitch when she's, you know, made a mistake on your thing. Just work it out. You know, there's well, no reason Well, calling for... names really doesn't do any good anyway. I, I mean, using... sometimes it's quite fun. Oh, no, but, no, no, no. Yeah. Not, not if you don't know the person, and it's different. No, no. You know? If you don't know the person, then it's like, really? Why, why are you slinging 
<laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Why are you slinging? Well, when you go do your your commerce in town, are you friendly with the cashiers and the people that help you out? They know call you by your name, or they smile, or whatever. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, I chit chat with everyone. They pretty much know when I come into the grocery store or wherever I walk into. You're right. going to have a conversation. <laughs> okay, well, I'm I'm not big on conversation, but I'm friendly enough that if you want to practice English, I'll speak a little bit, and that's the kind of like the social arrangement here. I'm like the test thing for how's your English, <laughs> how's your math. Oh, yeah, because hey, in Denmark, in Denmark, they read the last two numbers instead of twenty-two. It's two and twenty, twenty and or uh, seven and twenty, three and twenty. But these kids reverse it in their head when they're talking in English, which they hardly ever do, and tell me the mm -hmm. number in the correct way so I'll know what they're saying. It's really impressive. And they could ne they could just pretend I don't speak in no English and just say it in Danish and that's the end of it. But they don't. They go out of their way to speak English to me. And see, that's that's really, really cool because then you are basically their sounding board. You know, they get to practice with you and you are mm -hmm. a willing participant in that and yeah. that's awesome yeah, yeah. and it's that a is awesome and i'm the foreigner here and these people are really treating me i mean i've been here a while now and they treat me really good i've got nothing in life to complain about unless i want to be a jew and complain about some so that in itself is kind of nice but then i see the internet and people are all uh, <clears throat> some people don't have manners Let's say that. Or don't use them. If they have them, they've they've abandoned them long ago, and they think that they can just walk into a room and call a total stranger a name without any provocation whatsoever. And I say yeah. that. If I was to walk into the bar and do that, I wouldn't get served. And these people no, know me. Won't. Okay? But these people know me. So I've always been nice, but if I come in there and start screaming and yelling... Out the freaking door, I'm going. So, yeah. okay, so in my mind, I'm thinking, why is that any different online than it is in person? It isn't. Mm. It isn't. It is to a few I people. I think you should be held just as accountable online as you are face-to-face. -face. That's the only way people online will learn that that's inappropriate behavior. Just because you're not face-to-face -face and someone can't punch you in the face... <laughs> Or as my daughter puts it, <laughs> throat punch you. Yeah. Wow. You know, just because someone can't do that to you for your inappropriate behavior or whatever doesn't mean that you can just go willy nilly and be a total douche. Well, you know, no, and, and you, you people can. get a, I... people do that because they're allowed to get That's away with it. Exactly. So uh -huh. you gotta you gotta let people know there is a certain thing called manners. And respect for others. Okay. And if uh, you do not behave in an appropriate manner, which you know what an appropriate manner is, I don't need to tell you. And if you don't know what one is, then you better figure it out real quick because you're going to be really lonely. Yes, Miss Mary. I, I will do it right away, Miss Mary. Don't hurt me. Uh, all I'm saying about the whole thing in the long run is some of us, me and Jay Dredd, I won't mention any names, <laughs> are... <laughs> Oh, well, I'm just going to use it as an example, okay, because I accuse J. Dredd of being adult, and he accuses me, flash somebody, like I said, no names, just fill in the blanks, yeah. uh, and he accuses me of making up news to mislead you people like you're following me anywhere in the first damn place, so I don't get, you know, why is it okay for me and Hans to behave like a couple of dumbasses? But if anybody else on the site does it, wow, they're getting um, drawn and quartered now. And when's it going to end for me? Now they're going to say, well, you can't do it either, Flash, because nobody else is doing it. And it's, oh, man, you're going to take my toy away, make me talk to myself. Okay, see, and I look at you and, and Hansel as salt and pepper. You guys, you guys are a little bit on the seasoning side. <laughs> <laughs> of my brain food and sometimes i don't want any seasoning and therefore i don't play right and then sometimes i rather enjoy having that seasoning on my brain food but either way you know and and beetle i know he's he's kind of worked up right now and i get that beetle i know you you spoke for the children and and that whole 
that whole late term abortion thing and 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 see i oh, get yeah, where, that was where this whole thing yeah. started you know with yeah. the although i did not see the whole interaction just from what i'm getting from different perspectives after the fact yeah, and well, from was, my own personal I was in and out perspective, of it. you know, I come on, um, I was in and out you know, of that. This, okay. I saw what? some of it. That's what I mean. I turn, I go do other things. I read the computer and if I'm pissed off about what I'm reading, I go do my puzzle. And that, yeah. that morning I got up and I was seeing a part of all that. And uh, I mean, see, in my opinion, I'm like Vinny. If you got to say it, say it. If you don't want to read it, block the idiot you don't want to read. But to to ban somebody for typing words in one way is necessary and in another way it's insane. It it's like a okay. it's like a catch 22 of catch 22s. It it's, is, but it's see, got its purpose and other, it's wrong the at the same time. The other side of that, you know, yeah. you're talking about the banning part. I'm talking about the personal responsibility for what initiated it in the first place. If you know <laughs> that pushing that button is going to yeah. set off a bomb, yeah. And yet you keep hammering on that button. Eventually, it's going to go boom. Yeah. Um, so. Oh, can I read for a second? It says from sure. Grimner, Flash somebody I would like to say for the record in regards to the goober ban last night. He had got Moose Girl so upset and angry that she was ready to quit. Wow. And when it comes to picking between Moose Girl and Gooberzilla, I will pick Moose Girl every time. The end. Exactly. And that's what I mean is people have got no manners when it comes to pushing the opposition. I mean, even I find an end and stop. You know, I don't just do it and do it and do it and do it. I do a little and then I go find something to do. Then I come back and either ignore it, or I do it some more, but it's not like uh it's not like what I've I've seen Goober do. Goober's very aggressive. I blocked his text so long ago, but Cirque didn't. So every once in a while I get up in the morning and I look over and see what they're writing on her screen that I can't read and realize, wow, I'm glad I got a Iggy button. <laughs> No and content. yet the Iggy button, you know, mm -hmm. there's two sides to that as well. I said Why I should see you both have sides. to, although I do ignore, but, <clears throat> oh, it's this is a very, very deep subject that just keeps getting deeper <laughs> and deeper and more oh. convoluted. And the farther down you go, the <laughs> yes. more it starts smelling bad. And yeah. 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 What do you do? I mean, do we um, join forces? I just soon leave it to you the people. You hold people accountable for their behavior, and if they're going to continue pushing buttons, that they know those buttons are going to cause mm. some kind of overload, then you hold them accountable for that button pushing. That's what's period, been done. Period, whether it's right. verbal or physical. Right, and that's what happened. People are just rude, and other people are sensitive, and... And, and then others only see one side because yeah. they only want to see one yeah. side because yeah. that's how they roll, and that's sure. fine. That is your business. But when you start becoming abrasive about it and start saying stuff that, well, you don't have the right and yada, 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 then it's like, excuse me. <laughs> I know. It's, see what you, I mean? You wish to have uh, people you know, allow you the right and yet you're not yeah, allowing yeah. them the right. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. It's an ugly two edged sword I, and I everybody know. gets cut when you start wielding it around. Yeah. Well, we're I don't know. What are you gonna do? You know, it's all matter of personal choice as far as I'm yes, concerned. Yes it is. Yes, I can it is. Either... And people just flat ass need to take responsibility for, for what their they own fucking behavior. Say. Yeah, for what they say, not for what you accuse them of. But for yeah, I'm for that, and I'm I'm not against being banned or banning or any of that in the RLM. It's too small of a place not to use some kind of rules to operate it because we all bump into each other every. You know, this is a small room. This isn't Facebook where you can, you know, go find your group. This is different. We're all different people all trying to occupy the same room at the same time with different ideas. 
And if you can't entertain a different idea, not a regurgitation of news bullshit propaganda, but a new idea. <laughs> Let me tell you what happened, Mary. Because okay. you don't you don't catch all the shows. I, I do three shows a week now, right? Uh huh. Tuesday night. I was going to do the In a Perfect World with my partner, Vinny, but Vinny was late an hour. So that day, Rob had sent me a link about the court. It was a Mark Stevens article. You know, Mark Stevens, the lawyer, about another lawyer, or Mark Stevens yeah. about another law, about some mm -hmm. lawyer. Well, all that day I was posting lines out of it just to irritate Hansel because he was getting all crazy. It was making me laugh. And he's accusing me all day of making things up. And, you know, then after he found out it was Rob that sent me the link later, then it was I was cutting and pasting. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> But, uh, but when, you know, when I was, when it looked like I was writing it, it was, oh, you lie in this and that and the other misdirection. I'm trying to fool people. <laughs> this is beautiful. Right. And, mm -hmm. uh, well, see, to me, this is fun to other people. It's not so much fun and I should give it up. I know that I've talked about this for a long time, but it's an addiction to be a certain way with a certain mental peer you know what i mean somebody that's mm -hmm. argumentative is your peer in that direction their whole purpose is to argue with you <laughs> and well and yeah there are some people in this world that they just absolutely love being adversarial they just love it and that's fine that's great if that's what trips their trigger they just have to understand that being adversarial has consequences as well as rewards. So, yeah. Well, don't you ever you know, feel so strongly about any one particular topic that your opinion can't be changed no matter what you hear about that topic? Yes. Okay. Yes. There you go. Uh, we're all like that to some area. You know, it's something. Something gets us. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Mean people, like myself, tend to scratch a sore spot. When it scabs up, scratch it again <laughs> every day. And uh, after a couple of days or weeks, it gets a little boring. So you use the ignore button and then you don't do it. Then you get itchy and see it's a cycle. And we're all in it in different areas at different levels. Yeah. Yeah. Some people are like voyeurs. They like to watch the fight, but they don't want to be in the fight. But they don't do anything to stop the fight. They just got an opinion. See? Yeah. Okay. Well, then yeah. there's other things like what's been going on this last month. Because the world is just collapsing into itself. People are feeling the stress. And we're taking it out on each other. Me and Vinny went through it on our own, on a radio podcast. Mm -hmm. I lost my freaking temper with him, and I went, you know what? I can't do it. And then I took a little time to calm down when I was willing to listen again. And then I talked to him, and all right. But there are areas in life where people have pushed me where I will not even listen to him anymore. That's it. You had your chance. Go, the go away, oh, I am busy, oh. And uh, it's just a shame to see it come to that on such an important level like this Internet thing. You know, over your own personal lack of common courtesy, you're going to screw up your opportunity to be connected to the truth in the real world. And that's how I see it. You know, if, yeah. I, if I was see, threatened... Some people, it's yeah. a cognitive dissonance thing there. You know, they are levels. so, so entrenched and somebody else comes up with something that really really shakes their world and they lash out and it's not necessarily because they disagree it's because <laughs> yeah. whatever was said yeah. made them very uncomfortable with where they are yeah. well we're all uncomfortable lately is what i've noticed is just some people are being pushed beyond their personal limit Whatever the, That's because Mercury's in retrograde. <laughs> no, that very well could be, but we're all stuck in whatever we are in, and the other guy doesn't care about you. He cares about himself, 
And uh -huh. to take the time to look at somebody else and say, well, maybe this isn't the right way to talk to that person is a lot of work for some people. I don't find it difficult. You know, some people you can't play with. Like Cowboy Tech wouldn't play the games I play with you. And it's not because of any, that's just not the way I see the guy. Or Beetle. Beetle and me banter, but we banter in a very innocent, non intrusive way and then me and Vinny call each other everything but white boys I, I don't get it well you know it's kind of like uh, with my family when we get together we oh man talk about <clears throat> slinging insults and all kinds of other fun stuff but it's in fun you know and we know yeah. the limits we know, know. where not yeah. to go yeah. But if someone else were to come in and oh say yeah. even one thing that any of us say to each other on a regular basis, mm -hmm. that person would get drop kicked through the goalpost alive. So well, not, it's yeah. it's kind of one of those weird little things that <laughs> that is just part of human nature. Yeah. But you know this this stuff of of telling people that you can't hold people responsible for their words and deeds and behavior. Excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me. Who died and made you God and told people that they can't <laughs> tell others they have to be responsible for their behavior? And Those other people. The same you, arguments being used by both sides about two opposite ideas. Yeah, Freedom is it is. Not abuse. It is. You know, just because you're free to do something has no way mean you should go do that. Yeah, you know, there's lots of things I'm free to do, but it would be ignorant for me to do them. So because I make you a, know what the repercussions will be, and they just ain't worth it. Correct. Well, right down. Well, I've never been really one to be particularly rude to females. Men are you? Yeah, you know, that's another story. But women, I'm a little more tactful about. Right. It's fair to say that I'm a little bit nicer to the women, verbally. But I'll tell the guys off, tell them off, call them all kinds of names. But they were just playing around. I call Grimner names all the time. But I call the females Miss or make a, a special way to write their name. Like Moose, I write it with the two zeros instead of, you know, little goofy girly things. But I don't do that to the guys. I call Grimnerd, Grimnerd. I call him all kinds of horrible names. And he gets on here and fixes my computer anyway. But yeah. I think if he thought I meant it seriously, his assistance would end abruptly and I would not be a friendly face to be dealing with. Now, that's just my common courtesy side. You know, there's a time and a place you can make a joke about a guy or a girl. But it, when it gets personal and you start calling people stupid, like I called Hansel adult, I shouldn't do that, but I feel justified in my behavior with him because he gives me equal. I'm not a victim of him, and he's not a victim of me. But I look at people like Goober and Moose, and I see Goober pushing her, and she can't not answer. She's an admin and all this. She can't ignore it. So he's got a yeah. victim in a, you know, in, like in a, in a web. You can't escape it. you got to tolerate it. And after a while, how much can you tolerate you know? Well, and I don't, I don't see Moosey as a victim. I see her as a target. Well, that's what I, you know what I mean. That's a totally different concept. Tied and target, bound, victim. you can't move, you can't go away, you got to see it. Is a That's a, to yeah. me, that's a <clears throat> fucking victim, but okay. I mean, if I felt confined and I had to read some of this crap, I'd go insane. Some of it ain't worth reading. Yeah. Or if you've read yeah. it once and you don't need to read a, I'm, I need a, a spaceship at 40 times a day for four years. I got it. I got it the first time, you know, well, maybe not four years, yeah. He's, but I remember him going off about shooting planes down from the sky and oh, just nonsense. So that made me uncomfortable. So I went Iggy, no more goober going to ignore that. And as the times progressed, I've just watched him pick on other people. All right. Anyway, um, Hannon wants to walk, and Sir can only hear my side of the conversation when she's home down here with me. So yeah. she she doesn't she doesn't um 
always know what you're saying in response either. You know, yeah. it does because we have weird conversations and we agree about the damnedest things at the weirdest times. <laughs> you know, well, yeah, because you know, I see people getting abused, and because I'm the way I am, I ignore it because fuck, I've been through shit that make you cry, go away, little crybaby. But I got to remember, I'm not them, and they're not me, and what makes me upset doesn't bother other people that I think are soft and they go hey what are you all upset about that wasn't anything are you kidding I just stubbed my toe on the table yeah you big baby cry like a little girl <laughs> see you know one person's pain doesn't affect another person so you how do you yeah. okay how can we be um, subjective enough to look at the other guy and know where do you draw the line with um common courtesy and being an asshole number one you stop demanding that everybody else be courteous to you when you don't have to be courteous to them that's that whole double standard nonsense and a lot of times people use that as a weapon um when trying to and i get the whole the first amendment is there in order to protect speech that most vehemently uh, disagree with you have every right to say whatever you want to say i will agree to that till my dying day you have every right to say it you say also it. have every right to deal with the repercussions yes. of what you just there said. you go you should that's why i say bring back dueling not because of the dueling it's because if the results of your insult to another man or female was serious enough that it would get you shot in the fucking head you might not open your pie hole so freely and shoot your pie hole off if you knew what the responsibility of it was. See, and that's that's the problem with the internet and with chat rooms and any kind of social media. Yeah. Some people will push it and push it and push it mm. simply because there are no real repercussions. Or when there are repercussions, they are very biased repercussions. Yeah. You either... Either everybody's covered by the same blanket or throw the damn blanket away. Yeah. I'm, but I'm if it's okay that. for one person to be an obnoxious ass, <laughs> yes. and then it's not okay for those that are on the receiving end of that obnoxiousness to dish it back or give them some kind of um, repercussion for that obnoxious behavior, yeah. Yeah. that is a double standard. People wow. should not be allowed to just go out and just, you can't do that in real life in face-to-face -face conversations. You cannot <laughs> oh, be obnoxious shit. and have someone just stand there and go, oh, well, I guess you have every right to be obnoxious. Yes, wow. they do. They also have every right to either have you walk away from them in the physical world or turn around and punch them in the face. That's a reality. And same thing with the internet. People need to understand Sometimes you just plain have to deal with the repercussions of your behavior. And if banning is the only option available to really get <laughs> it to sink in, yes. that's no different than turning around and throat punching someone that won't shut the hell up. Okay. And the way I see the Vinny's opposition to it is he's looking at it as seriously as being thrown off a boat in the ocean. You know, it's not the well, if it's you can't it's, swim, don't stir shit. Okay, it's the same principle overall, but particularly it doesn't apply here cuz we're so small. And I try to I've spoken my side of this to him and he's spoken his side of it to me. We're still friends although we disagree about it because I think because I'm willing to talk and listen. He says something, I listen to it, I respond to what he says. And what I like to see the people with it, other people that have this problem with, uh, like me and Vinny, we, we get along, but then there's times where we don't. And instead of letting this drag out the way I did with the, uh, with the little breakup we had for the radio, uh, I figured instead of ever letting it get that out of hand anymore, I'll talk to him first first before anything can happen and this is not, maybe i'm not controlling the time layer of it but 
being available. He knows I'm willing to hear his side, change his shit. And I thought, well, but then if you look at these particular isolated people we're discussing without naming, right? I'm not going to name them. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. These people have shown no interest in compromise of any kind. They always want their own way. They're always special. Uh, If you have any opposition to them, you're insane or stupid. Uh, Come on. (laughs) We're intelligent people as a collective. We know a lot of things here. But we're social creatures. Some people are more liberal about what they're willing to put up with than others. There's the bottom line. Mm Mm-hmm. Me, yeah. if I don't like it, I'll Iggy. I'm not an admin. I don't have any responsibility to, to make sure the content is decent. And I think that particular point is being left unaddressed. Because I say fuck and this and that. And the, but my content is absolutely on the money. If I tell you something's wrong with something and you look for it, you'll find it. You'll see what I'm talking about. I'm not leading anyone mm-hmm. anywhere. I'm pointing them where I've been. Go look what i saw and you may not see the same thing who knows but that's what i do well i know what i see i see special just said may the evidence be brought forth and the love be the most powerful force and you know what i agree with that wholeheartedly but the there's one thing that you got to remember sometimes people need some tough love throw a brick and through tough my love window. means a time out yeah when you're a, a toddler and if you're behaving like a toddler, you then you deserve to be treated as a toddler. Yeah, and, and if I toddlers have to have time out, then they have <laughs> to have time out. It's that simple. Throw a break so, through my living room room window and then ask me to cook you a meal and see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. And see that's how seriously words affect us. And we're taught to uh, wipe it off. Uh, Don't pay attention. And the problem with that, when you do that to the level that uh, society can push, you end up like me and you just don't give a shit about anything. It's like, fuck them. All they do is fight any goddamn way. Who needs any of it? But, I mean, that's me. And that's not a very popular stand. But for the guy that doesn't have the common courtesy to associate in a public forum and you know by by a simple common courtesies he got what he had coming that's my opinion that's how i feel about it and uh, i'm not going to try to change the results of what anybody does here i don't care ban me if that's what makes you know if that comes to the sir i wouldn't fight it i went for it's a big world i've been thrown out of a lot of places in my life but not for what i said I've never been that powerful that my words were so insulting that people wanted me to leave over what I said. Maybe what I did, but, you know, saying things that, nah. So I don't have that that hands-on experience that Vinny has with this that it hurts him so badly. You know, I've taken the bumps and just went, oh, fuck off. I'll, I'll go that way then. Um, I'm not one to uh, fight to hold ground. There's too much ground. True. True. I don't even and speak see, the language still, I here, bet right? You still remember the WT days, and <laughs> and I know how many times you told me, just ban them, just ban them, just boot them. And you know, it being in the shoes of someone who is responsible for other people. You know, it's not so much because, you know, you want to you want to sit there and browbeat me and call me all kind of names, whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't have to let them affect me. No, but you but they start will. beating up on everyone Every else day. that I'm responsible for. Yeah. And I'm sorry, I am going to hey. step it up and yeah. you're going to get some tough love. Exactly. Whether that's that's giving you the boot for a few days or banning your freaking IP address. And trust me, you remember those days. I tried that, and look how well that turned out. Well, no. Ex- I, have a, I have my own perspective on this. I can see, you know, because I was one of those, oh, well, everyone's opinion should be heard. Yes, mm-hmm. it should be heard. But once it's heard, then if you Thanks, continue to to stick that salty finger in that wound and twist it around. It's like, okay, dude, enough, enough. 
Yeah. I don't see, I've said, I'm not defending either side. I see them both. I see merit on both sides. People did mm-hmm. what they did. I'm not here to change anybody. I don't care what you guys do. I only care what you do to me. So if if my end of the bargain to stick around is to uh, be honest, but not be a complete dick about being honest, that's I can do. I've been doing that. Nobody's said, "Hey, shut up," except for the one guy I argue with. And yeah. that's it's such nonsense anyway. It doesn't amount to nothing. But if we started, you know, doing the things the people that got banned for were doing, then I would be doing it to him and Beetle and Grim and uh, Miss Kate and Special Ed and Moose Girl. I'd be doing it to all them, too, just like the others did. And I don't. Mm-hmm. I've got one person I disagree with like an idiot and play stupid word games. But everybody else, they don't do that to me so that I don't do that to them. I treat you, uh, Beetle and Anti. Anti and Beetle politically aren't eye to eye with me, but we just don't discuss it. It doesn't apply. We're decent people to each other on the site. We pass ways and we say hey and make a joke, but never an argument about whose side is right. That doesn't matter. But not everybody gets along that way. Some people like to be adversarial. Yes. Well, and I enjoy a good argument as well as the next guy. But I still, I keep coming back to this whole thing of, you know, the um, from the movie Harvey. Uh, there was a line Jimmy Carter's or Jimmy Carter, Jimmy, Jimmy Stewart, Stewart said, um, "You can be oh so smart or oh so pleasant in this life. I have been both, and I much prefer the latter. And you know what?" I can be smart if I need to be. <laughs> no. I can be pleasant if I need to be. Yeah. I can be both from time to time. Doesn't happen that often, but I can. Yeah. But I really much prefer the pleasant. I really do. Well, let me ask you a question. You've been online for a, longer than me, for one. Okay. And you've had more in-depth dealing with this online community and running it and all that. Uh-huh. Um, so, you know, out of the two of us, I would say your opinion of uh, how things go would hold more water because of your experience. Okay. Now, that's not, is that an opinion or is that a fact? <laughs> See. It's both. Well, it happens. Because just because I have experience doesn't necessarily mean that I actually learned anything from it. Oh, I know a lot of people that oh. have. You Lots did. of experience, but no, you, you definitely, do they retain any of the lessons? No. Mary, I met you when you were before owning all that crap, and you changed mm-hmm. a lot. You're still the same nice you. You know, the Mary, the you Mary is still the same. But the, the way you look at the world since those earlier days when we first met, you've changed quite a bit. It's been about six years. I've known yeah, you longer I ha- than Yeah, I have. I'll admit yeah. that. Yeah. I've changed oh. a bunch. That's why I'm saying it. I'm agreeing. I listen to your program, by the way, because I've got all this extra time. I don't have anybody pushing me around, tell me what to do. So I sleep when you guys are live because that's the time I'm in. And then when I've got all the time in the world, I play the reruns on the Internet. And uh, I would say uh, from just the reallibertymedia.com group, you know, the Freaker's Ball and you and Hal Anthony and, you know, Grim by himself and that. I've gotten a lot of good information from that. And all the in-house bickering, I, I turn a blind eye because I've been drinking in bars for, a, you know, on and off over my life for years, years and years. I've seen the most unbelievable recoveries from people that got injured to the friendships that got you never thought they would split up and they split up both sides of it you know Mm -hmm. and all i mean is that anything in life is possible if you want it to be but if one of you that's in the thing doesn't want it to work it won't 
and the Agreed. tells are in in this electronic world the tells are on the writing if you write to somebody that you're a stupid fucking cunt asshole blah blah that's going to stick with that person they're going to always see your name and go oh it's you so yeah. why okay my question from there why engage them at all because you know where they're going to go why not let them just talk to their self until they finish and end it or did that is that even possible i don't know see then it sounds like i'm trying to change the outcome when all i'm doing is i guess i'm just showing you how ridiculous not banning them would have been in my real opinion because i didn't See, I hate to get personal, but I was not impressed. I don't think we lost a great mind because we lost him or her, the her part see, of this and, one. And the way I see it, I see people behave like that towards one person. Mm -hmm. And I start thinking, is that the way they treat other people? Well, How many other people yeah. do they treat like that? And yeah. they get away with that crap everywhere else? Yeah. What the hell? Somebody needs to put their foot down and say, excuse me, inappropriate behavior on aisle one. Well, you know, when I wouldn't even read Goober's text, I, he had to know I'd blocked him, but I'd see him even agree with me, but I always target Moose for an argument or a, a disagreement of some kind. It was like he was, uh, you ever see the kid in school when you're about 10 years old trying to flirt with the girl by pulling her hair or doing something stupid to get her attention? Because he yep. never got taught how to treat a girl. He's treating her like a boy, but doesn't know it. He's completely ignorant on that whole area. And mm -hmm. and here we have a man that comes into the room and says blatantly out in front of everyone, don't trust any of the women. And, and I just, wow. <laughs> How can I respect a guy that does a thing like that in a chat room? Mm. If you did that to men, you think I'd speak with you? Serious? Oh Lord! See, and I—that's just not in my nature. No, I know that. But you, me, and you <clears throat> have been disagreeing on the radio for years. We we don't oh, yeah. have to agree, but we never argue. We never get mad at each other. I don't. I get along better with you on a radio than I do with anybody in my physical, real life that knows me. You know, that can sit down and say, "I know that fucker." We've all had words, circle, my brother, everybody, but not you. And I've had problems with people on the radio, but not Mary. Why? What invisible barrier did we cross to communicate and get along like this? It's rare. It's uh, even my wife enjoys it. Instead of female being, oh, you talk to her so nice, Mister Asshole. You know, she doesn't. She <laughs> you and Mary do great um, radio together. And that's I think for my it's wife. Because we actually do have respect for each other. You know, there's an awful lot of people out there that they say they respect the other individual. Yeah. Yeah. But we actually do. And we <laughs> yeah. don't have to live with each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, man. If you ever want to make an enemy with somebody, spend two weeks in their place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're all different, you know. And uh, that, see, that's the thing with me and Cirque is. We're so seemingly different from all reality areas except the way we think. We think so much like that. All the other stuff is just kind of immaterial. It's very weird. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, if we disagree about anything, it's got nothing to do with uh, reality. Like, oh, the house, we, own, we pay taxes, we own this, that kind of garbage. Oh, banking, now nah, she knows all that stuff. Medical, she knows all that stuff. But when it comes down to, uh, like, a person, I want the things red. I want the things green. Whatever. That might bring a little conversation. I don't want it red. I bet, 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 bet. See, instead of anything important, it's always some stupid little nothing. Well, yeah, it always is. That's yeah, but we know that going in. We're completely aware of it and disgust it. And then we figured we'd get married so the state would leave us alone and not, uh, because I'm from another country, not try to destroy the relationship. <laughs> so, you know, we use the tools available to us to play the game necessary to not be separated. <laughs> Is that a piece of work or what? It's, 
it's called teamwork. Well, she basically, won't, she won't go to America. No, it was well, one of the first deals. Her mom pulled me aside and said, "Please don't promise me you won't take Sirglina to America." And I promised her, so that's that. I don't go. I don't lie. Lie to people, man. You get your ass handed to you on a stick. It ain't worth it. So I had to say goodbye to my homeland. Well, well, that's and what, yet that's home what, is where your that, heart is. That's I mean, what that life sounds is. so so mm. sickingly, <laughs> you know, sweetly, <laughs> yeah. happy. Yeah, yeah, but it is. It. Yeah, it is wherever yeah. your heart is at. That's where your home. Right. That's why they worked so hard on me for the first fifteen years to make me a good citizen and it backfired on them they just they pushed me away with their control and their rules and their but they taught me what they didn't teach other people was there's limits you know if you want people to accept you you're not going to get them to do that if you go in the room yelling at them and calling them a bunch of names so True. somewhere along other people's life that when they disagree with you, they don't just know how to disagree with you without making it personal. They think that typing it somehow makes them right if they do it first, too. It's a very strange world, the electronic world. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Well, it's like the difference between me and Chloe was uh, basically politics and uh, that I wasn't an Obama supporter. Uh, but, you know, my I don't support any of these butt nuggets. It doesn't matter. But when you support one and not the other, then I don't get what, why you, you don't see the bigger picture in the first place. That the same thing's going to happen no matter who holds the seat. You're being lied to. These business companies do this shit. Corporations. Yeah. I Yesterday when I was doing my video perusing and stuff. Yeah. Um, that Clifford Mahoudi, who is a, a Zuni elder, <clears throat> said this one line, and I just about died laughing. And I thought I wrote it down, but apparently I did not. Um, <clears throat> he said that, you know, all these people that were talking about Obama and how wonderful he was and how this and how that. And he said, you know, <clears throat> he's just a puppet. And quite frankly, yeah. I would not hire him to run my nut lemonade stand on the uh, corner because I don't think he's got the brains to do it. He, but he's a very good puppet. Uh, he read well, yeah. He had a great reading voice. I can do the great reading voice. Does that make me intelligent? Really? I can imitate Bullwinkle. I mean, does that make me? And no. We're taught all wrong. This is what I've been harping about with you and without you for years is that our basic common knowledge is all skewed. We're taught crap that doesn't matter. And the things that do matter are ignored. Like, uh, I don't remember a class in school where you go into a public bar and this is how you behave. No, I went into a public bar and saw somebody acting like a fool. That's what I did. Yeah. Well, that's how yeah. my whole life has been. Nobody told me what was going to happen. And not in this traditional sense of go to school and get a job and all. No, 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 no. What happened is I broke all the freaking rules and ran into all these people. I would have never met any other way but to do what I did. And they said, hey, kid, come here. Let me tell you something. And I'd go, oh, all right, let's hear it. And they'd tell me. And then sometimes it was just nonsense. And sometimes it was IRS material. So, and back in those days, you had to either rely on ditto. When, remember those copies, black and white copies of uh, documents and whatnot you get to see? And they'd have a stamp mm -hmm. on them embossed in the print in the paper, so you'd know it was an original document. Because you couldn't mm -hmm. emboss the stamp with the ink in it the right way. You'd know a fraud when you see one. But we had yeah. copy, right. But there were copies of those originals. So still kind of, you know, if you want to nitpick, you can be a real dick. But the truth mm -hmm. was traveling is not driving. Driving is an act of commerce. You don't need a license to do that. They're just telling you you have to. If you accept that as a truth, then 
you need a driver's license. Until you accept it, you don't need it. But see, they don't <clears throat> they don't teach that stuff because they don't want people to know that. Okay, and in my day, and this is some of the things that I've never mentioned. And Moose says, oh, you were so lucky. Well, no. I come from the day where the cop would just give you a ticket. Because it wasn't uncommon for people to leave their wallet in another damn suit or a pair of pants. Well, oh, crap, I left my wallet at home today. Oh, okay, well, what, you know, here, here's, here's yeah. your ticket. And they didn't just arrest you because they could. They didn't even want to arrest you because it's such a pain in the ass to go through all that crap, you know, for some stupid little thing like a driving without a license ticket. That's insane in my day. So they yeah. they chose not to bother with that. Well, after a certain time in my life, the cops never even stopped me again. I must have drove, um, I would say, from crying out loud the middle 90s i think i got a ticket in tennessee and after that i never even got stopped one more time at all so luck or not it wasn't a criminal offense it was just driving without a license they give you a ticket big deal you whoop 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 but over the time they've added insurance things and all these added doodahs to the crapola mm -hmm. <clears throat> And made it something it wasn't originally designed to be. Yeah, but it's a house of cards built on a house of cards foundation. So you get one strong wind, and there the whole thing goes. Well, yeah, but they shoot you now for tiny infractions of codes. Oh, yeah. And, oh, this and is that's horrible. part of the training. Okay, but see, I, I didn't... I didn't experience all that. Mine was softer and easier. I mean, even as rough as things were at times, nothing like the modern day with the intrusion and the uh, violence and the throwing you in jail and all that horrible crap over nothing. Right, you know, driving a car without a license. What crime is that? Well, you know, that's like this whole thing of... Um you know, resisting arrest. I don't know of anybody Jeez. that actually wants to be arrested. So I think everybody would resist arrest. How in the hell is that an actual crime? That's a that's a natural thing, isn't right. it? To I don't want to be arrested. Fight or flight. Yeah. So I would do whatever I need to do to resist being arrested. Well, it's hard to explain. I think it's the... Uh, population of the place where you're involved. Well, maybe not. You had that kid shot where you live. Maybe I'm way off. I might be talking. Uh, I think my it's ass just now. a mindset that just plain needs a correction. Yeah, because and the only way the mindset will be corrected is if the mind is prepared and ready. Yeah, in Copenhagen, for a and right, recognizes that it needs a correction. In, in Copenhagen's right next door to Freetown, they share a, a line, an imaginary borderline, right? Where you cross the mm -hmm. street and then you're in... Okay. Now, the thing I have against Denmark is a, a ma major portion of the population is like 57% wants to decriminalize hash. Quit, quit fucking with it altogether. Uh-huh. The politicians like the drug money from America. The war on drugs oh, yeah. money comes in. So they have their raid on Freetown every year, two years. And sometimes only might, might squeeze two in a year. But it won't be big enough to make even the newspaper. It's just local crap. But they get money from the <laughs> from the drug crap, that uh, war on drugs nonsense. That's what all that is. It's departmental money to sub... To, um, Explain to people, yeah, well, this is what we do with the money. Look at this. And then they go take some drugs and sell them again. They tell you, yeah. they, they, tell you they burn them or destroy them or whatever crap they tell you. These cops, cops are cops. I don't give a shit where you're at. Yeah, they get back out on the street. Yeah, because <laughs> Copenhagen, as nice of a place as it was, blah, 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 blah. They still got cops that will go to work and serve a fucking warrant. In Freetown, on, it's not even their goddamn jurisdiction, and they serve their fucking warrant and take their shit and arrest people. 
and get keep that stupid game going over a freaking plant that doesn't hurt anyone and the majority of the people don't want to do it but the bankers and the politicians get theirs so guess what we get just like america ain't no damn different but the different, well, in that respect, it's not different. But on a living here, different. It's the difference between barbed wire and loose rope. I can move around a little bit. I don't feel so confined, so I ignore the nasty shit of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it's it's a cage you're willing to tolerate. Well, you remember all that hoopla about the Faroe Islands? It's a, I don't know if it's still a colony of Denmark. It might be. It has been in past times, but it's a, a, an island where they do whaling seasonally because they live mm -hmm. off the fucking whales. That's what these, these are hardcore people live in the middle of damn nowhere, blah, blah, blah. They're mm -hmm. island livers. Anyway, you know what you didn't hear the news about? What's that? No, it's an island of 50,000 that gets 100,000 visitors a year. And they closed the island to any tourism for a period of time coming up. And unless you're going to be helping to clean up the island, then you can't go there to even stay for these few days so they can clean up all the mess that their tourism brings them because they have living standards. And that's what you and get. See, isn't that sad? You have all of these. I keep seeing all of these pictures on the interwebs. Which it must be true. It's on the internet, but you see these groups of people that are coming together and they're protesting for the earth and they're protesting for this and they're protesting for that. All of these social justice issues. Yeah. And when they leave, it's a freaking pigsty. Whatever happened to people cleaning up after themselves? Uh, I don't know. You know, when I leave a restaurant, the only thing that's there on the table is the dirty dishes. And usually those are all stacked very nicely so that yeah. whomever comes to clean up the table, all they have to do is pick up the dishes. <laughs> nicely. Because I wipe down the table and everything. Yeah, you country girls, you know, that you, you got a different kind of upbringing behind you than the modern day city girl. Come on. Well, they everybody else thinks, oh, there's someone else that'll do that. Well, you know what? Somebody else or someone else that's going to do that, we're all somebody or someone. Well. You so watch, why don't you do it yourself? If you, you made the mess, clean it up. You should watch some of that social engineering shit they got on TV now. The uh, What is it called? Netflix and YouTube and all yeah. that crap. I watch oh. it. The, I think the difference between me watching it and Cirque. Cirque takes it. She feels more to about it than I do. Like it really makes sense to her in a different way than it makes to me. You know, on a different level of it. I, I, this is a TV show to me. I don't care one way or the other. Her, blah, 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 blah. She can define all these different emotions about it, what it brings up to her. And me, I just see somebody that's pretending to be something in a magic box. <laughs> I'm dumber than a rock, Mary. It's insane. And see, I watch like old Star Trek episodes and stuff like that, and I see hidden messages in all of this stuff. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I call television and movies our indoctrination because if you do that, you go watch a 1940s movie about crime. Where was all the crime in 1940? The population wasn't that fucking big. Cars were hard. To, I mean, how many people had cars in 1940, really? Right, but they show you this movie, and it's like it was a, it was already hell way back then when it was all clean and pristine. Mm hmm. You know, they cleaned well, up after the dust bowl and made everything all pretty again. Everybody was yeah. wearing suits and hats, and you know they were clean cut and all this other shit. But if you listen to the dialogue, it's so controlling about what's coming in the future. You know. Oh, yeah. really, the moon and aliens and fear this and that. My favorite is to keep you out of the forest. The forest is the last place a human being that's watched a lot of TV would ever want to go. That's a, yeah. a goal of the government to keep us dependent on them and out of the nature. They don't want us near nature. But you know what? If you go even further back, 
to like the the Brothers Grimm and a lot of those old fairy tales, read a lot of those and they make the forest sound very scary, very uninviting, very evil, always bad things happen in the forest. Mm -hmm. And that, I mean, you know, a lot of these videos that I've watched lately yeah, have made yeah. me see other things in a different light. Like one. And, you know, and so now I see them as, wow, yeah, I really can see that there has been something mm. going on, something at work for a long, 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 long time, trying to keep people away not, yeah, from. Not interested in certain topics. The occult is not always negative and black magic and all this crap that occult just means the unknown so space yeah. is the unknown for all yeah, that's it's worth. The unknown or the hidden yeah. and the black yeah. magic is just the reverse of what I, was it that uh, I don't know. michael tassarian said he said things went from being magical to being controlled by sorcery oh okay which well, is the light to the dark. Someone took it to the dark side, and we need to get the magic back. What do you What do you think about people's um, over insistence on having everything explained to them? They're not willing to do the, the necessary research to prove any of the shit that we've been told is true with no real proof. Over the years, has just been one thing on top of the. I mean, I was just saying the other show that you probably didn't hear. Uh, I've never been an Einstein fan, but I saw a meme, and I doubt seriously that Tesla really said this word for word. So I'm not even going to quote the the point. I'll just make a point about it. Is that Ed, um, Edison? Einstein's quote was very well worded and pretty, but it was nonsense. And way before I saw the this meme, I always thought E equals MC squared, and it means all this fancy shit that if you haven't got an education in this, that, and the other, you don't know what the secret words mean. You don't know how to apply them to this and all the. It's too much, too, you know, too soon. What does it really mm -hmm. mean? So I always thought, nah, it's too word. It's got to be bullshit. In the back of my mind. And then I read this meme, and I'm starting to wonder, because Tesla was a very spiritual, simple mind for so being so complicated to discover the things he discovered. But on a on a personal basis, I look at his in, his input from being connected to the earth in a way that the rest of us have been persuaded not to pursue. Because if if you want to be a natural living carbon-based life form people will call you names yeah if you don't belong to the right group in the right country and the right th and then in real life when you just go out and you just run into somebody you haven't seen in a few months and you're in the grocery store and they're just talking to you like you're you, they've always known you things change i mean i don't think the rest of the world gets along how this works here in this little tiny area but i'm sure there's pockets of it where it does where everybody knows everybody and the stranger has been around everybody knows he's here blah 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 either you play with him or you don't not this social convention where uh the foreigners are picked on and ridiculed and everybody's judging every fucking thing you do every day every moment you're being videotaped and clicked and what do you call that? Instagrammed and Facebooked, and it's a lot. And I live. Well, in, you know uh, what? Nowhere. Everybody <laughs> judged every moment of every day, anyway. It's yeah. just most of the time those judgments are, for the most part, are positive. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. or just neutral. I think so in person, Mary. That nose to nose, we wouldn't. We would never treat each other as rudely face to face as we do on the internet. I stand behind that. And oh, I, that that's very true because yeah. you d on the internet you don't have that instant repercussion. You know, right. the instant you're going to feel it, that's going to leave a mark. Repercussion. So it's for gonna, rude behavior. Yeah, it's going to force this kind of you know you warn people and they don't listen thing, and then they get booted. Well, that's just part of the game. And and me and Vinny are going to clash on this one. So 
have fun with me and Vinny for a while. <laughs> I'm not uh, for... Actually, you know, when you guys start clashing, I tune you out. Okay, but I'm not really for do. or... Just yeah, I don't blame you. But I'm not for or against either side. I want what is best for everybody. And sometimes the sad part, what's best for everybody is going to hurt one person. And I've been the person where it was better for everybody else if I moved on. I was taking up space and interfering where my help, it's not help anymore now. You're just in the way. You need to go so we can take care of her, but, you know, better than you did. So I did. You know, yeah, everyone yeah. has the right to no longer subject themselves to people and things that no longer serve them. And yeah. that sounds yeah. very arrogant. Yeah. But when you stop and think, you know, if this no longer serves a positive Don't purpose for yeah. me, that's it. Why am I exposing myself to it? Exactly. And that's the, the side where the ban thing as necessary is uh, you're saving the many by sacrificing one. And But the one but was asked. But you're not really sacrificing what, the one because okay. if that person wound up getting banned, they then obviously their behavior warranted something. <laughs> yes, they and asked. therefore, they volunteered yes. for the ban and with then they their behavior. Be a, then. then they want to be a victim of their own choice. Yes. Wow. Yes. I can't respect no. that. I can't. There's just no way. I wouldn't do that to you. If I said something so cruel to a, anybody on the Real Liberty Media, it was worth banning me for saying it. Okay. If that's what the group thinks, I mean, what can you do? That's reality, mm -hmm. man. If, if yeah. my wife's family didn't like me, they wouldn't come and see us. They'd see her True. in the city. They'd never come here. And they're here all the time. It's really cool. And uh, I get teased about it. You're like, oh, no, you got your mother-in-law and your sister-in-law there. Yeah, they're they're doing girly shit, man. They're making dresses and they're, they're baking bread. <laughs> they're like real women. It's like life. Like life's supposed yeah. to be the way I was taught to live my life. Not... Not this I identify as a toaster and uh, where's my safety blanket? You said the wrong words to me. And I'm not comparing the wrong words to being abused like um, Goober and Chloe do. That's just rude. That's just abuse. I could do that shit. But even me, I try to find nice, innocent, ambiguous ways to call you a dumbass. Yeah. Well, I often you know, don't you're, write you're a name. That about girls doing curly things and stuff. Yeah, but I and to that do. reminded me of a meme I saw on uh, <laughs> on the interweb brag. on Twitter. Um, it's our generation is becoming so busy trying to prove that women can do what men can do that women are losing their uniqueness. Women weren't created to do everything a man can do. Women were created to do everything a man can't do. Yeah. We're supposed to be complementary to each yeah. other, not an adversary to each other. And that's that's what's going on right now is they're making us trying to make it an adversarial world as opposed to a complementary world. Yeah. My partner helps me when I need her to. I don't even ask See, her to. In fact, if anything, I withhold information that would help her to know there's a problem and she figures it out anyway. And then she says, you know what? Why don't you call this and go to this place and do that? And, the other, and hey, boom, she's right. But that's what I mean is some of us are kind of lucky we have the ability to listen to the advice. And other people are so stubborn and they're so isolated. They think you don't matter. What you say, ah, you won't do that. I do what I want. I'm out of control. They saw yeah. too many movies. You know, They saw too many people get away with it to think that they're going to get caught. It's like a bad liar. They don't even know they're lying after a while. They just don't care there's nothing there big blanks in their eyes where their eyes used to be you just see holes well maybe not you but me i'm pretty judgmental and if i've known you for a number of years and i think i can judge what you're saying by your face <laughs> you know i'm not saying i do this out yeah. in public but personal relationships and friends you damn right you look me in the eye i know if you're lying or not you know, body language does a lot more communicating than verbal. People vibrate. More. Mary, you just got to get in <clears throat> tune with the person that's vibrating like you are. 
and it's so mm-hmm. rare. But when it happens, boom. And then the rest of them are very irritating. The ones that vibrate against me are very irritating when you when it comes right down to it. But they exist. There's lots of them. Can't change them. Can't fix them. They think we're wrong and they're right. And they're here to show us the error of our way. And we're all happy people doing what we want. So I don't get the point of the fight in the first place. I don't even see it as a fight. I see it as a dummy making a fool out of himself. But that's me. And see, there's your lesson. <sighs> There for the grace of whatever go I uh, eat it. Mm-hmm. 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 Pretty well, much. You know, there's a lot of times I see people that are being just absolutely obnoxious twats, and I just go, hmm. "Wow, thank you, thank I, you. You took on that job, so I don't have to. <laughs> I really appreciate it." I was listening to you last night go off about how your mind has been made up over the time that you've been on the internet because you did a, a 180 you're still yourself you're just your uh, your opinions have broadened in some areas they're wider and in some areas they're more narrow and you're more willing to look at how people can really be without being nice to them in spite of it you're letting go of the nice guy suit is what i mean to a point you're not being a bitch to anyone or anything like that you're just being more outspoken about how you feel about things, and I appreciate it. Listen to your show last night, because I, I know from doing the show, I have no idea what we talked about, and when I'm doing it, I just do this shit, blah, 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 blah. And then I listen yeah. to it later and go, hey, we had a good conversation. Or I'll laugh, because <laughs> what I, oh, I had Vinny on here last week, and I was just, I was so high, I got this mental image of uh, Donald Trump and Pelosi and Angela Merkel in a three-way. And I couldn't get out, I know, and I couldn't get out of my mind, and I kept thinking out loud and telling Vinny, I'm seeing, you know, Trump and Pelosi, the face of America. <laughs> I didn't tell him the part about who's running the camera. <laughs> Ew. My friend, Ew. my friend Henry was running the camera that day. That's just, oh, stop it. Hey. <laughs> Dang, creepy ass. I had to, just for you. <laughs> <laughs> Can't a day without Hank is like a day without darkness. <laughs> In other words, it's never ending. Some of the you know, some of the bad okay, what I mean is I not and not in defense of myself or Hansel or Goober or Chloe or anybody else that's in this uh, arrogant, egomaniac, word writing trap. Because that's, I think that's the common link is the people that are getting a, uh, attention for being pricks are wordy. <laughs> and the next guy that's going to ban, you know, who who's next? This is the problem you get when you're breaking rules. And people are getting caught, and they go, well, who are they going to get next? Well, if you're not doing anything wrong, you can't be next. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. see, well, but see, that, where did Vinny go? Vinny went, well, if they'll ban them, they'll ban man me. And somehow or another, I got this line in my mind where I don't really care. I don't see it happening. I don't think I would push it that far. But if it did, I wouldn't lose sleep over it and cry. I'd just go on with life. Life, plenty of life around. Sometimes when a door is closed, like it's closed on you in that band thing, it opens mm-hmm. up ten other doors where the people that are mean like you hang. <laughs> so you can go in there and you can irritate them, and they like it. You know, it makes them but, happy. Yeah. Well, what's Live in wrong their own with little echo chamber? And that's what you know. It's like water finds its own level. Remember your knicker knotters room? Yes. <laughs> well, couldn't couldn't Grim with his high tech abilities make a a band room for people that aren't fit for the chat room? <laughs> you know when when you're okay. Just, now you have to stop and think: Is it really worth Grimmy's time? Okay, well, I'm and just, effort to go. To I don't know if it's even possible to do. A, we're doing a radio show, and I thought I'd talk about something fun 
Yeah. Well, okay. and special just going, ban me, ban me. You know, when people sit there and do that kind of shit, it's like, no, no. not going to do it simply no. because you would enjoy it. Too much. Yeah. But when you, if you call me names and over and over and call me stupid because you don't agree with me, well, that doesn't work. I don't, I don't, dig, I don't dig that shit, man. Yeah, I'm just to the point where it's like, eh, if it comforts you to think that way, you just yeah. go right on ahead. I'm gonna come on over here and do my own damn thing. It's like Facebook; it's too big, you know. And people are losing sight of you need a small group to connect to, because after a certain number, it's too many people, and you can't keep up with who's who and what's what. And it brings out it, all the agreed. Crap. Okay, well, th yep. this suits me. I know enough people here. And uh, Cowboy Ted disappeared. I haven't seen his name up here in a long time. But Mountain Man showed up. <laughs> I didn't know he was. I thought he quit. I went, oh, man, we lost Cowboy Tech. I guess we did because he's not on here anymore. But I don't know why. If he's on Possibly here, because Man, he's busy. I'm open. I don't see there's so much drama. I don't know what if I was going to stir something up asking like this. Because I don't know. I'm just in Denmark. I, I live in my little Denmark place, man. It's beautiful. I got no problems in the world. Just, you know, getting through the day. Play a little on the internet. Do piddling things around the house. Spend some time, you know, breathing. <laughs> it's easy. Yeah. But the, well, the lives you know. that I've read on the internet lately with the extreme weather like you've had, Moose has had, um, uh, Everybody up north, Beetle, poor Beetle, good Lord. And he's an early riser because he's on, online when I'm on. So we've had a, a, you know, a few times where we'll chitter-chatter and he'll let me know the weather's bad. And I just, wow. I, I don't really have an opinion. It's just, uh, it's been more extreme this year than any year I remember. And people are, they're housebound and they're upset. They're going nuts. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, Everybody see, goes nuts okay. from time to time. That's, Grimner, yeah. Grimner answered Part of the, me. He says, anyone can make a channel on IRC, flash somebody, all you got to do is. All I was saying is, is <laughs> I was kind of being a smart ass, but I was, th this is an idea that when, uh, when Mary and Cirque were uh, running, RL, uh, running uh, WT, Cirque was telling me that we should have a, a fight room where people that are obnoxious could be sent to so they could fight it out all the time and be separate yeah. from the rest of us that don't want to play. And I didn't know if you could do that or not. or if it was, It's just something to talk about. We're on a talk show thing where we talk about stuff. Why not talk about weird stuff? <laughs> I don't want, I mean, that is Venezuela's, a good idea, though. You know, I mean, if you want to be obnoxious and, and pick fights and yeah. sling all kind of hateful nonsense, then <laughs> here, here's so the place sad. to go. And last man I standing gets to be there all by themselves. Yeah. You know, it, it's something. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. Remember Nick or not or so? It never insulted oh, yeah. anybody that went there. You know, it was like, wow, if you got problems, don't come here. So we all went yeah. there knowing anything was going to be on that wall from any one of the weirdos that used it. And some of it was so funny. I laughed a lot. That yes. was one of my yes. favorite pages. Yeah, well, the freedoms that we once, in, once enjoyed in previous years, we don't have anymore. And for what, I don't know what the reason is, but reallibertyorg because of cause being in it, even just to do a code, I don't know, it just makes it that less appealing to some old timer people. <laughs> Your ex-partner, not to name anybody in particular, Cirque. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know. My partner in crime. I still remember yeah. you being accused of being the one that was yeah. doing all of the <laughs> oh, yeah. all of the stuff in the Told background. You. It's like, really? Yeah. This guy has I almost know. zero computer skills and you're accusing him of what? <laughs> my my wife to this day still gets upset when you say those three magic letters together. She will <laughs> nah, she won't man. No way. And even with just a little um bantering in my opinion what's going on around here is just cleaning the swamp it became a swamp you got to clean it unless you don't want yeah. any you know 
Unless you want people to not come because it's a swamp. You clean the swamp. And if I'm going to create a mess that's going to make it a swamp, I'm going to clean up my mess or I'm going to go. There you go. There you have yeah. it. But no, this is... See, Vinny's going a little too far, in my opinion. Hey, Vinny. Uh, because it's too... His, his premise is about a larger thing. This is about a small little group. And as much as he wants to not admit it, it these, some of these people have known each other for ten, multiple years, 10 plus years. Some of these people know each other face to face. So to um, to come in here on the, on the chat room and think that being around a few years is going to influence the people that have known each other for multiple years, you're insane. You're trying to break up a bar crew and it ain't going to happen, <laughs> you know? You know what I mean? You, you make mm -hmm. uh, you make friendships in life and at certain periods of time, and people enter that circle over the years, but the original bond of the group, the older people always bond together more tightly because they know each other better. And yes. he's overlooking that part of Real Liberty Media and taking the name so seriously that... You know, he want. <laughs> I see his point, but he's going too far. Is all. Oh, and, you know, I see him. button pushing in preparation for a victim card going on here, and it's like yeah, it's, everybody it's, wants to fight. Yeah. See, there you go. Get into a fight with somebody. That's what this is all about. It's what I don't want to push get. the button so you can whip out the victim card. Oh, poor me, poor me. I'm so. It's not like I pushed any buttons. Well, <laughs> when I confronted. <laughs> When I confronted Vinny, I said to him on the air, too, I said, you know, when I'm in a uh, conversation with you, I bring out of you what I bring out. And he, he said, right away, no, you don't. Okay. He, he thought about that. We talked about it later. But, it, you know, it takes two to tango. You can't fight by yourself. How do you fight by yourself? And that society is well, looking at. Well, you can, if, but then you belong in, a, in one in of those lovely house, padded right? rooms with the self-hugging jacket. <laughs> yeah, it's a catch twenty two here. We've got a chat room where you want people to come and have fun, and you got other people who whose idea of fun is perverse and demented. <laughs> and, yeah, and you try to mix us all together like a salad, and no, this is not working. Something's wrong. <laughs> so there's got well, be you know, a, oil and water they don't mix, but if you throw a little bit of vinegar in there and give it a good shake. Well, there's got to be an agreed upon sense of decorum to, you know, yes. in, in verbal communication. Well, I assume because you're an adult, this is where I give people too much credit. I assume because you're an adult and you've survived long enough to become an adult that you learn not to act like a 10 year old along the road. But then I see people like, you know, Chloe and Goober that are still doing that 10-year-old behavior to get the attention, and they don't know that. How do you teach? They're old people. How do you tell them? You can't. You try to bargain, you try to reason, and then they do it anyway, and you got to tell them to leave, like a real bar. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh. Mm. <laughs> you don't think so? Sorry, I'm reading the chat, and oh. something that okay. I saw showed up in there is like, really? What? Really? Take it away, Miss wow. Mary. I'll be quiet. Not qualified to push the button. Wow. Mm. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what you're wow. reading. Wow. So you you that... want to talk? Wow. Wow. Hmm. Are we I'm, doing a, I'm like thinking. A I'm thinking someone is really, really, really pushing. Well, who is, just I don't for know, the tell simple me something, please. Fact You're of just saying wow pushing. over and over. Mary, Mary, Mary. Who? Hmm? What? Who? Yes, what? Ponder Gander is being a, a poo-poo okay. hat. Oh, I didn't know Vinny was in there. I wasn't reading any of that. That's okay. See, that's what I mean is he, his point is trying to show you how, you know, how... What you're doing is the same thing as they were doing, or we're doing it, and we're getting away with but it's not the same thing. He And now he's trying to be a victim of it so that he'll prove his point, I think. He's going to be obnoxious yeah. until he gets asked oh, to go away. Oh, I get away. that. I get that. Well, that's the it's same just, thing the other like, two. Wow. But that's the point of what my understanding of the people that got banned had it coming because they were asked 
to exactly not do what's going on. <laughs> and I'm I'm uh, complicit because I'm friends with the crazy guy that's doing it. Okay, so, he wants yeah. to know who gets to pick whom the offended party is. Mm -hmm. The offended party is who decides who is offended. If you allow somebody to offend you, then you just gave them the power over your emotions. Period. Oh, well, I probably wound him up saying my side of how I really, truly, honestly see it. But as far as action and doing anything, about, I would be so out of it, it wouldn't matter. I didn't say, I don't give a shit. Leave me alone. I got an Well, see, and Grim wants to know if I have the launch codes and do I want to push that button. And, you know, as much as, no. as the evil twin in me is going, wow, mm, that's yeah. really tempting. Wow. The other side of me, the reasoning side of me is going, yeah. that's what they want you to do. I was hoping it really you, is. But I was That's what they want. Don't 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 feed into that. But I was hoping you'd have fun on the dork table today and it didn't I am I am out. having fun, but oh. wow, it's like stop it already. Oh, Grow yeah, that, up. This right. kindergarten behavior is just beyond. Right. And he's going to flood the feed with it until you do something about it like you did to everybody else. I see that in it. I don't know. Well, Why poke that, a bear in the eye? That's just, fine. You know, if like, he wants to flood the feed, flood the feed. Go ahead and talk yeah, to yourself. Be yeah. in your own little echo chamber. That's the point. I don't have to deal with it. It's just a shame that instead of, a, you know, this is my side of the opposition to Vinny. Instead of just letting the sleeping dogs lie, he's going to kick somebody. And... He's only arguing with him, with himself in the long run. But this is what I mean. This is how I see the Internet, not how everybody else sees it. Somehow what he says affected you. I don't care one way or the other. That's what I mean. I really don't care. It's not life-threatening to me, his opinion about anything. Take it or leave wow. it. It doesn't matter. Kate is guilty and Moose is guilty. Yeah, Kate and Moose are both guilty of actually getting tired of being up. abused. No, they're getting tired. Yeah, they were being abused verbally by mean people that pushed them too far. That's not a crime. It's a crime to Vinny. No. He thinks that no matter what you say to anybody about anything or how you say it, it should be that. But uh, I don't know. I don't agree with that. I think that common courtesy dictates there's a time and a way to tell somebody fuck you to their face where one way will get you fucked back in the face with something and another way you'll get a smile out of them so this is not not a matter of words and type it's a matter of there's a harmony here that some people are not willing to join in on Vince and sorry you can't see it that way but I see your side, but I'm not going to stand with it. It's insane on this small of a level. Well, I just, what I'm seeing yeah. here is basically the cybernetic version of standing in the doorway of a movie theater, crowded <laughs> movie theater, and yelling, fire, 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 and then uh, whining yeah. when the paramedics show up and scrape <laughs> you out of the carpet. Ouch. Excuse me. <laughs> I know. There's two sides. You got trampled yeah. because you kept yelling fire and someone finally listened and next thing you know, you get trampled. And now you're whining and pissing and moaning and groaning because you kept standing in the doorway yelling fire oh and you got trampled. Now you're part of the carpet. Congratulations. You got what you wanted. Yeah, but that's not the issue that he's addressing. <laughs> No, the issue he's, he's addressing is that y'all yeah. need to listen to him because he knows what's best and he's moral superiority going on in here. Well, thank you for wearing that lovely little cone head. I'm, it looks so much better on you. <laughs> it, it's really, it's see, it's a word game on, on the internet. Play it how you like. <laughs> you oh, can look, do Grimmie anything. Grimmy is guilty too. Grimmy's guilty uh, of taking responsibility for, yay. Damn, Grim. Uh, I don't know. It's the guilt fits. Yeah, but see, that's what I mean. That's the beauty of having a physical in person life. <laughs> uh, again, yeah. Yeah. Well, everything teaches me something sooner or later. You know, I, yeah. get, I catch on. I'm not completely insane, just a little bit. <laughs> 
Well, what is that line from that country music song? I've always been crazy, but it's kept me from going insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think something like that. But but he but he but he but but that's all, folks. Yeah. Well, I guess it's just a matter of irritation, you know, and being a clot. And if you, these are the arteries of communication, is the words, the text. And if your words and text are going to be a clot in the arteries of our society, well, then people are going to take offense to that and not accept it as an okay thing. Now, that robs one person of something and everybody else doesn't give a shit. So, I don't know. What are you going to do? Well. Well, you care because you got kind of all up in your conversation there. <laughs> I don't. You were I, saying, I know. You were rocking. I was looking at. I wasn't even reading it. Was, oh, hey, guess what? Gannon. My superiority is showing too. Damn, I better tuck <laughs> that back in. Some bit. Oh, wow. I let that out. That was a sneak peek. But da da da. Bum bum bum. Here's some superiority. And here's something. To, here's something for everybody to ponder. Yes, <laughs> this is Vinny's opinion. So you either you with it or you're not. And. I'm with it, but I'm not going to try to enforce it like some kind of cop. You either you, you you deal with what is and you go on, or you live in yesterday for the rest of your fucking life and scream about what you didn't get your way over. I mean, they're gone. You want to find them? Go find them. They weren't yeah. willing to participate in a social manner that was acceptable. This is not a public toilet it's a chat room <laughs> chat is not calling other people stupid every 10 minutes so if there's well. any growing up to do about the subject the popular <laughs> consensus, <laughs> consensus is it's vinny <laughs> Yeah, well, and he's got enough <laughs> nicknames going that he can have a conversation with himself, and it's all wow. good. Uh, well, I was hoping to have fun with you today and giggle and laugh, so oh. we, we got You there. know, I just keep hearing the Alice Cooper song, I'm Guilty, from his Alice Cooper Goes to Hell uh, album. It just keeps, it's playing in my mind now, and it's like, <laughs> I'm going to have to pull that up on YouTube. <laughs> well, you know, from from knowing you over the few years I've known you, you're one of the top people I know, Miss Mary. I'm always glad to have you come over here to the dork table. I remember when I couldn't do one without you. And now I do it myself, and I call you and invite you on. So, you know, my and little... Right, but no, I learned how to do these things that once upon a time didn't care for them. But didn't think I'd do radio alone. Now I do that, so I can reach out to you. <laughs> See, isn't that awesome? Well, any any door table you want to come to, you tell me about it. Because Tuesday night you work, I think. I do a In a Perfect World, but I don't know if Vinny's going to hang with me. He's probably going to um, he's probably gonna go silent for a while, I think. Because, you know, as he's pushing for that. I think he needs a break. And, uh, you know, he's going to just aggravate people until they ask him to take a break. <laughs> That's the way it looks. I might be wrong. I'm not like CNN or Fox and can give you the news. I merely give you my opinions about make-believe shit I see on a TV screen <laughs> that may yeah. or may not be true. I don't know. And I, let me tell you something else. Most of the time, I don't care either. <laughs> what is that? We used to say when we were kids, I don't know. I don't care. And I don't have on pink underwear. So there you go. <laughs> Well, I don't know what color your underwear are, but uh, I, I got a knot in my knickers earlier. Thank you for <laughs> not, helping me work it out. <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> my wife's over there. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, no, my mistake. She says she's guessing yellow. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Cirque and Mary are such good friends. It's like they treat me like one of the girls in the in the trio when the two of them are together i don't have any balls anymore <laughs> they don't <laughs> they don't even yeah you don't even treat me like a guess i'm i'm hurt <laughs> <laughs> no actually it, it's a level of trust that's kind of cool i don't i don't think many people would recognize that so 
I've got a charmed life. I really do. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. you do. Yeah. Everybody so, does if they actually sit back and realize that they really do have a very charmed life. They just so many people are so busy focusing on the negative, uncharming yeah. aspects. Negative. Let's of go it. to war with this country and that country, and I'm a killer, and I, or oh, even and you bring out the Jew in me, I'll be going all vain all over the room. <laughs> <laughs> You have to follow me around with a rag to wipe up the drool. I'm leaving in my wake. Uh, be spitting on everybody what? when I talk. Why don't you ever drag out the Mexican? <laughs> oh, it's singular. always the Dewey bastard that you drag out. Why don't you ever oh, bring out your Mexican? My friend Zero De Niro, the Mexican heroin dealer. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> and his wife, Mucho De Niro. She has all the money. He has the ah. big cock. She's got all the money. That's the way it works with the Zero De Niro family. Oh, okie <laughs> dokie. <laughs> you asked for it. That's all I could think of on Sperm of the Moment. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, we, it's okay. We come I still, the I show. still love, there is a meme out there somewhere. Um, <clears throat> the word of the day is defense. And... Um, Oh, God dang, now I can't remember it. But it, it's something about defense. I can't get over the fence. <laughs> I thought, I oh, God, that's just too freaking funny. Yeah. And now I can't remember it. I totally Ooh, ruined it. <laughs> very dorky lure. Very dorky lure. And when you'll remember, you can post it on your own radio podcast page for everybody to see. And, oh, I don't know that I want to do that. I'm telling you, we had you in quite the frothy little upset state of being at the end of the show here, if you know what I mean. So I Ooh. do apologize for bringing the worst out of Vinny on the on the air like that. I didn't know. I wasn't reading the chat. I was just making a you know making a point, you, an observation. Do you really have the power to bring the worst out? In someone I, else, or I don't know. do you just kind of express yourself and other people allow their worst <laughs> part to come out and well, then blame you for no, bringing out their worst? Minimize my power like that and make me look just like a normal guy. Well, no, I know. I there I no, go. No, I want to be in power. <laughs> Taking it's away all your of me. bastard thing. <laughs> it's, all, it's all my doing. You are all my minions, and every word directs you into my evil plan. <laughs> what the hell? No, there's only one person that talks that way, and he's funny. <laughs> oh, God. You can't make it up. I mean, I try to make it up, but I can't, so I, I use him. <laughs> ah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, he keeps everybody in stitches. We have a, a new friend, Special Ed. <laughs> he was oh. bantering with my partner earlier. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. It, it's just, you know, there's that's what I mean. There's a line that he doesn't cross. He never said anything nasty. He was just disagreeing. But... We know who I my worthy adversary is, and he gets verbal. He calls you out by name. <laughs> Don't like it when mm -hmm. it's him, though. But he does it to everybody mm -hmm. equally. Oh, my favorite is when he comes on bitching about the women. Because I love me my women. Don't be fucking with me women, man. <laughs> Arg. That's right. <laughs> Who's going to make the coffee and make the bread, for fuck's sake? This is a piracy here. I, I know. I can't I know. fight off all the bad guys and cook and clean. Come on, let's go. <laughs> 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 Somebody's got to give a little bit. <laughs> if you're going to make the mess, somebody else has got to clean it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> in the, see, in a perfect world, we can get away with murder. Ah. That's why I do the dork table so that I don't have to do that. But I have a funny <laughs> feeling I'd be doing the um I'd be doing the in a perfect world all perfectly alone <laughs> for a while right now. I think my, my partner on the radio is gonna take a break. That's what he said. I I mean if I miss quoting him he'll let me know. But his last words in print where he's probably gonna take a little take a little time off and, and uh, set aside. It's safe to say that, I think. It's not insulting to anybody. He's just, you know, sometimes you get overload. You need to back off. I call it the Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa syndrome. You know, it's in your face. It's all blurry, and you back up. Oh, that's my hand. And the further away you get your hand, the clearer you actually see it. Not 
<laughs> not the closer it is. Closer, bad, further, good. See? But logically, yeah. it doesn't make sense. Logic, you'd be, oh, I got to be right up on top of it so I can see it and understand it. And then there's other things in life where a little distance is required to actually understand what you're seeing. Because it's yeah. a different conversation than words. You know, the inner conversations where you guide yourself to the answer that you need to get to your next step, whatever that may be. Oh, we run out of time, too. You want to do the yeah. um, you want to do the farewells in the lineup, or do you want me to? Uh, I will let you bet. I just okay. want to say, when you spend all of your time focusing on one little pixel, you tend to not see the great big picture of that beautiful flower right in front of you, and the bee that's on it's gonna sting your ass. So I just had to put that out there. I feel much better now. Well, good. I well, like I, bees. I'm glad you came to the dork table. Anytime you want, ever want to come, if, even if I had somebody else here, I'd bring you with us. Never is yeah. there not room for you here. Okay. And Well, I, what? I like playing with you. You okay. guys are fun. But Vinny was intimating to me he needed a break, so I'm going to try to help him keep his word by saying it on the radio. Either he does or he doesn't. And if you do... I'm supporting you, and if you decide to do it Tuesday, I'll be ready. I'll wire you, and we'll do our show. Whatever you decide is best for you is what you need to do. Quit worrying about us. That's what I have to say to Vinny. And uh, tomorrow, what day is today? Today is Saturday, the dork table. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow we got in the morning, Mr. Grimner comes on, plays some blues. Now, last week, there was uh, the women were doing something in the kitchen. And I had been doing something else to interrupt, so I got to play. I got to listen to the blues while I played trivia, and uh, then I got um, fresh baked rolls after that, just before Hal came on, and then I had to go to bed. <laughs> Ooh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, but Hal Anthony comes on at three o'clock on the East Coast or the West Coast, but that's nine o'clock my time. And it's uh -huh. a work day for the wife. So the, you know, staying down here alone when she's got to go to work would be weird. So, no. <laughs> you go to bed. Yeah. That's okay. But, I understand. Yeah, but I've got the information I already know, and I've got the internet to get the playback from BitChute, Spreaker. Where else? That's why I brought it up like this, because there's so many ways to retrieve it. If you miss the live show and you really want to hear the guy. That's uh -huh. how he, yeah, Grimm's got this stuff everywhere, and he just opened up another thing with something called iHeartRadio, and I still haven't opened it. I don't know what I'm doing with computers still, Mary. I'm still messing around, but I wanted to mention all that to mention that, and then Monday night, Grimm's got his new thing he's been doing for about two months called Grimm <laughs> Leftovers, and that is the the topics they didn't get to on the freakers ball from friday night then he does them on monday night and then uh tuesday night i'm gonna be doing in a perfect world perfectly solo probably for a while and then uh wednesday guess who mary guess who yeah yeah mary does yeah. her rocket chair podcast six o'clock on the east coast on wednesday and friday then uh, on Thursday night, I come back at midnight with this weird crap. I come up with 20% off. And who knows what I'm going to talk about or why I'm going to talk about it. But it's late midnight here when I should be in bed sleeping. And I thought, hey, let's do some radio and see any crazy ideas I might come up with. You know, sleep deprivation and all that other crap that goes into it. And then Friday... We come around to Mary again at 6 o'clock on the East Coast on Friday night, Rocket Chair Podcast. And then after that, later on at 10 o'clock, is the Freaker's Ball with Moose Girl and Grimner. And then I come back next week with God Only Knows Who on the dork table. Whoever I can grab a hold of and drag here is who you're going to get. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> See so, y'all in the funny papers. Yeah, we went a little bit over, but hey, what can you say? And anyway, yeah. thanks a lot for hanging at the Dork Table. Dorks and Dorkettes out there at RealLibertyMedia.com. Over 
and out.